Hi guys, um, Flo here, the consulist. Um, in today's video, I want to try and fix this um, N64 power supply. Yeah, I had this lying around for, I guess, two years now. It's broken. Yeah, the cord was cut. I That was the first thing I fixed. Yeah, that's not pretty, but I needed it to test the thing. I opened it up when I first got it and couldn't find what's the problem. But recently I saw a video on Vince's channel, My Mate Vince. Check him out, please. Great, great channel. And uh, on Gadget UK's channel, um, Chris, he tried the same. And they found out, or Vince found out, um, what's actually the problem with those. And today I want to see if it's the same problem with this one. And now, without any more waffle, let's get started. So I hope this is a quick one. Um, let's plug it in. As far as I can remember, the first time I worked on it, so there were no um, voltages, but I want to check it again. I will put links um, to both of the channels in the description, so please check them out. So yeah, let's see. It's plugged in. Here is what we should get. Those three are ground. Those two, 3.3. Um, and this one should be 12 volts. So let's plug this into ground. Um, this should be 3.3. And you can see nothing. Completely dead. This should be 12 volt. And nothing. Let's open it up quickly. So, well first let's unplug it. I don't want to get shocked. So I test the cap here, if there's any voltage left. Yeah, and there's still 30 volts, but it's going down. Yeah, so this should be safe to work on. So, and the problem, yeah, I removed this, I think, the first time I worked on it. Here is always a big blob of hot glue or something to hold this PCB in place. And this covers up these two um, little resistors here. And they get hot and fail. So yeah, those two resistors here. So let's measure these bad boys and see what we get. First the top one. Yeah, here we are in the mega ohms. This should be 220 ohms. So that failed. And this is the bottom one. Yeah, the bottom one is okay. So I leave that in and I change out the top one. Damn, I forgot to press record. So it's out here. A little bit of flux and now a little bit of fresh solder. So let's see. 220 ohm resistor. Where is 
there, here, yeah. I think I have to use hot air for this. So it pulled itself in. It's a lot bigger than the other one, but it should work. So now I put it back together and then we try it. It's back together. Let's see if it works. I plug it in. No explosion, no blue smoke. Magic smoke. So let's see. It's here. Negative. So we should get 3.3 here. Look at this, yes. And here, 12 volt around. Perfect. This little resistor stopped this thing from working. I wonder how many of those were thrown out over the years just because of that. Okay guys, that was a quick one. Please check out the two channels, Gadget UK and My Mate Wins. I put links in the description. Yeah, so that was successful. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing if you haven't already. Again, guys, thanks very much. You watched the video and joined me in my lab today. So thanks very much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye.